So I have no idea why my GoPro is only at 78% battery because it's been on the charger for 48 hours. Anyway, we're back at this pond today where you guys know I let go of that big ass bass. Right in here in the creek is where I let it go. So a lot of people were saying that this pond was too small because all they saw was the creek. But get a load of this, it's probably over an acre. People rushed to judgment. They thought I let it go in a, there's a big bullfrog right there. They thought I let it go in a six foot wide creek. Take a look at this. It's a pretty big pond. It's bigger than some of the others I go fishing at. Plenty of vegetation, plenty of frogs, small turtles, shad, shiners, bluegill. It's got a ton of stuff it can eat in here, even snakes. And it's got that creek over there, obviously, which you just saw. But it's got this one here, too. So it's got two big inlets. So every time it rains, it fills all the way back up. And usually it doesn't drop very much. This time of year, there's also baby ducks. So, I mean, it could just about eat anything in here. There's also water snails. There's a big snapping turtle out there in the middle. So, as you can see, this pond is plenty big for a bass pushing 10 pounds. So, let's see what we can get today. There's a baby turtle right there. How cool is that? You can see that's not a radiator slider. That's some sort of cooter. Take a look at this uh, outflow right here. Quite a bit of water coming out today. The pond is totally full. It's a good long spillway right here. And the creek back there is probably 10 feet wide and 10 feet deep. You wouldn't want to fall down there. It's too muddy to show you, but there's a little walkway right over there. This is a big creek that makes this pond, so... And you can see how high the water got when it was flooding. I mean, look, you see all the dirt piled up right here. This thing right here, there was water coming out of this probably, geez, I don't know, 15 feet wide. Not a small pond whatsoever. Probably one and a half acres take another look at that little peninsula cooter he hadn't moved an inch he probably thinks we can't see him this is one of the few ponds I know of that's not totally dominated by red ear sliders I would say probably a third of the turtles in here are those little cooters Half are probably ready or slider, and the rest are snapping turtle and soft shell. And I've even seen some musk turtles out here, so got a good bit of diversity on the reptile side of things. Okay, that bass I saw out here last time was right on, on the other shoreline, right in here. Right about there. That's right about where he was. Oh, oh, something got that. Something chased it. There you go. There you go. Oh, no way. That, folks, might be the biggest green sunfish I have ever caught. That's a trophy. They're one of the smaller sunfish species. They have a huge mouth, but I just barely hooked him right on the side of the mouth. I can't believe that. Look at that. That green is probably more than a third of a pound. See that pretty turquoise and orange? I thought that was a bass. That is the biggest green sunfish I think I've ever caught. Let's let her go. That might be a big nail, I don't know. I tell you what, I was just here two or three weeks ago and none of this primrose had started blooming yet. 
or if it had, it had just started blooming. And to see it already covering half this pond is pretty incredible. There we go, green sunfish. That's another good size one. I think I might have gut hooked him. That's a big female full of eggs. Yeah, I gut hooked her. Damn. I didn't, I, it didn't even bite. That's the thing. I didn't know I had a bite. This sucks. This is a fish full of eggs. Let me see what I can do. Oh boy, she's already bleeding. Actually, I think this is a hybrid bluegill. Come on, open wide. I might be able to get this out with my pliers. This is what they're for. I hate when this happens, the fish doesn't bite. You don't know he's on there. I think I might have got it. Not sure. I got the hook. I wish you well, buddy. I'm sorry. Damn, dude, that sucks. That is a bite right there. There we go. Another fatty full of eggs. I think those bluegill earlier were hybrids because this one looks totally different. Much bigger mouth right here. Should be able to get this hook back. Gonna need the pliers after all. She wasn't far off from swallowing the hook either, but thankfully this one didn't. That's a true green sunfish right there. I was wondering why those greenies were so big. They're half bluegill. This is a true green sunfish full of eggs. Look at that. I bet you if I put this right in front of him. Cottonmouth? Based off of how wide his body is, I'd say that is. Yeah, right here. Oh, sure enough, yeah, that's him. That's exactly, you see the difference right there. Yeah, that's why you ever come down here and you smell dead fish? It's because these guys are eating it up on shore, underneath the dock. Yeah, that's definitely a cottonmouth. I saw one six feet long here last year. That may be him. Yeah, we've seen a few big ones over here. Every bit of six feet long. I'm, I filmed it, nobody could believe it. Is that what your stick is for? Yeah, just for poking them. We usually see them down here. Mm -hmm. Try to get them to move. So we'll end up striking with the stick and making me drop it. There. I'll, I'll do it, if you want. I don't want to tango with a cutting well. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, stick might not be long enough. Here, I'll use my rod, seven foot rod. Yeah. Oh, that guy wasn't nearly as long as I thought. I have seen a five or six footer out here, though. That's not him. Yeah, that's about the size we're going to see. A little short stuff you I can't reach him now. This little water snake wants my minnow, I guarantee you. Oh, yeah. Turned right at it. Oh, look at that. He lunged at it. I do not want to hook this guy, but he look at that. 
He's going for it. That's exactly what he wanted. It's good to see him doing well out here, to be honest with you, because everybody I know that sees one kills them. It's a sad truth. It's just like sharks. Everybody I know that sees one kills them. Mm -hmm. I totally believe you. There's probably a dozen of them out here. They're underneath us as we speak. Mm -hmm. Especially in the summertime. Yeah, he was laid right here in the... Mm -hmm. I forgot my net today, so if I drop this GoPro, I ain't going in there for it. No, no. I I'll not. go home and get my net and then come back. Oh, see that? He didn't even pull. He didn't even pull. That worries me. I don't want to gut hook them. They're all, this is a male. I just caught one earlier that was full of eggs. You see the males got more color. Yeah. They like to show off. The green sunfish. I don't know why you can't catch them over there. They like this creek. We caught a we caught a bunch of those over on that other. Maybe by the spillway. No, it was right where you where the little bridge goes where it bends back to the left. <clears throat> right there off of that little point. Yeah. I always seem to catch them right here in the creek because they seem to like moving water. You know. We caught a bunch last year that were diseased. They had these little yellow bubbles all over their gills and their mouth. Yeah. They had something. So I'm back at this real tropical looking pond and believe it or not that six inches of water we got six inches of rain managed to make this a muddy mess too so this pond is usually crystal clear but I guess it was just too much rain and too short of a time so I mean this pond is still clear by most people's standards probably at least around these parts but uh Good thing I've got my polarized glasses, so I've already seen one bass. Let's see what we can get. Wish me well. There we go. There we go. There we go. Finally, we are on the board with a bass. I'm going to go ahead and let this guy go, this little minnow. He should, he should make it. Finally, that guy came out of nowhere. I didn't even see him. He's another half pounder. Good and dark. Hooked perfectly. Got him. That's a little male. Here he goes right in the slime all right There we go, there's a bite. <clears throat> Little large mouth. My bobber and split shot came off. That is weird. This is a really dark bass. Really colorful. Almost goldish. Number two. I'm gonna go home and edit this video, so thanks for watching, you guys.